Hey guys, welcome. Uh, I'm Khush from Karmic Records and I'm with my friend, also a very well-known violinist, composer, music producer. His name is Sridhar and uh, Sridhar, welcome to Karmic Records. Pleasure. Firstly, it's a pleasure that uh, we bonded together, we collaborated together with our first release and the very first release has received tremendous response, I tell you. And, uh, People have really gone, uh, they've congratulated me uh, with heartfelt messages like, you know, this is the music which should have been out. This is the music which really we missed. Tell me, Sridhar, just I just want to ask you casually, you know, as, a, as, as, as someone who's been in music for a, what are your achievements and goals? What do you want to do with this? Now that we, we got a launch pad, we did it together. What do you think you can do with your music? How can you contribute to this beautiful field of music? Well, um, first of all, thanks for accepting uh, my song to launch uh, your uh, um, org. Uh, I'm blessed and privileged. Uh, so to answer your question, uh, see, uh, I have been a Carnatic uh, musician uh, since uh, uh, I would say 42 years now. Right, and I have been uh, teaching since 1988. That wow. uh, makes uh, 32 years of my teaching career and uh, performance as well. Wow. And uh, I have uh, accompanied uh, many stalwarts uh, at the age of uh, by the age of 22. Wow! That yeah. Is... Then uh, because of my work and uh, profession. Work and profession. I mean. Can ah, you... okay. Uh, so that's a long story. So I'll just cut it short yeah. for you. Uh, so uh, I have been. Um, an IT professional for last 28 years now. Uh, last uh, one and a half years back, I took a sabbatical. I would say rather I took a break uh, from, from... I was working in Microsoft. So you left everything and you I left just contributed. Yes. You know, in Indian homes, we have a very common notion that, oh, oh you're doing music. Uh, but what work are you doing? They don't relate work to music. Did you face the same <laughs> with your wife? Your son? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, yeah, even though my teaching uh, profession brings uh, a bit of uh, income, uh, but still in, uh, in India, you know, uh, unless you go to office or corporates, you still are sometimes considered as, uh, you know, jobless. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but the good thing is, uh, um, I think you know it, I built a studio. Yes, um, yes. And I was lucky enough to build it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. To answer your question, in fact, I haven't answered yet. Uh, is uh, uh, w what uh, do I want to do uh, by yes. coming into the field? It was your question. The things that I can't express in uh, classical music, which is more, it, it is limited with respect to the with respect to rules. Yes. Not by the virtue of music, though. Yeah. Um, the entire field, you know, if you choose a rag or if you choose a tal or if you choose a composition, you have, it's restricted uh, in terms of you have to uh, abide by certain rules which is built over the years, right? So, and uh, some of the uh, expressions that I have seen, uh, or rather, you know, that can be uh, seen in the uh, compositions that I have done uh, thus far, uh, is uh, out of my creativity. Awesome. So, there's no end to it, you know, uh, and, you know, thanks to you, I think I got a lot of inputs in learning the tool as well. Uh, yes. So, I have uh, so made a certification of that and now yes. I'm able to uh, bring it yeah. at least to the mixing level and I know what uh, instrument yes. sounds what, what are the genres what and stuff like No, that. but as a, in fact, as a company also, our aim is to see to it that uh, good music is heard by people. You know, people, I feel audience are very neutral. I mean, this is the same audience who accepted Rahman in the entire country. Rahman being from a south, a part south part of India, but he was accepted, widely accepted in the entire country and the entire world. So music has no language. And I'm telling you, the, uh, your first song, Mughalu, has been appreciated by people who do not know the language also. They are really liking it. So coming back to Mughalu, now, Mughalu yeah. is cloud, like cloud, okay, that whole word and the way you have expressed in your words, you bring a lot of meaning to it. What what went behind creating Mughalu, not only in terms of your writing, but in terms of also the way you handled the orchestration, you did it yourself, 
Also, users let me inform that Shridhar himself produces the music. He is very well versed with every aspect of music production. He is the kind of a modern musician which I also have a vision for the youngsters that you should be not only a musician but also a good producer. Should be able to handle your recordings, your productions well. So, what went behind the thought of Mugilu actually? Okay, the concept per se, uh, Mugilu, uh, you know, uh, in fact, uh, as you know, um, big uh, corporate world or music, musical world or sports world, any any area for that matter, uh, to break the shackles and, you know, get to the limelight, it takes a lot of, uh, you have to go through a lot of process, you have to go through a lot of people. Mm. And uh, you need a break, something like this, you know. Uh, yes. You need some uh, platform or stage mm. or a person who can really launch you or, yes. uh, you know, put you on the launch pad. Yes. Uh, then only the floodgates can yes. widely open. Yes. Yes. Uh, but there has to be a break somewhere, yes. right? So, uh, that was uh, what uh, made me, you know, that was making me a bit uncomfortable, you know, meeting so many people. They all appreciate uh, Prima Facia. Mm. But uh, nothing happens after that. Yes. So a common uh, uh, co common occurrence in our field. Ha, yes. Whomever I met, they uh, normally showed uh, signs of insecurity. When yes. you have the stuff, uh, you shouldn't have insecurity. You yes. can still make a mark yes. in the field. You have yes. your zone. Yes. You have your area. You can actually carve a niche out of that. Yes. Uh, is what I thought. But yes. so the, uh, that's what uh, triggered this lyrics. You know. In fact. Wow. Awesome. Uh, in fact, the cloud of ego. Yes. Uh, has to be uh, it will go wow it will mm -hmm. just clear uh, is what i was uh, no so this is in fact a very <laughs> very uh, prevalent thing in our current scenario if you see what happens in the music industry as a whole but okay let's talk about positivity now the way you make the song has reached uh, millions of people i mean at least thousands of people <laughs> since we have started and they've appreciated it we need to go we will go even bigger with our thought process and with our uh, releases next time. And um, now, if you say Mughal, what genre do you define your music as? I mean, I have put it in a, on a release as world music genre. Of course, I do see it as world music genre. But uh, is there a specific you want to tell to your youngsters who are making music like this that if they get many uh, people are inspired by your music and they say, oh, oh yeah, we want to suppose produce something like this. So where did you fit it in a film genre? Like, is there a genre you had in your mind? Okay, uh, let me put it this way. Um, see, genre, trend, all these things are uh, decided by people. If you actually speak about music per se, it's a religion, right? Of course. So, we, we cannot really say this is, yeah, there are labels, hard rock, acid rock. Yes. Yeah, uh, South Indian classical yes. and, you uh, know, Western classical, Hindustani and stuff like that. Arabian music. Yes. African music. It has come from the zone, but we can always, see, I would love to see similarities, not the differences in different wow. genres. Well said. Okay. Well said. This is so... So nice. Yeah. So means you would like to combine various influences and make it into you, your music. You have said it. It's world, world genre. Your genre. Good. So uh, at the end of the day, I want to create a style of my own. Uh, you know, uh, just like how, you know, I am a great, uh, uh, I would say, ardent fan of uh, uh, Ilera Jasar. Yes. So uh, as soon as you listen to the composition and the nuances or nitty gritties of music, mm. I think you will immediately say this can none other than be Ilera Yeah, this is what. And we all are. I mean, I have I've been... I've been <laughs> so, so just like that, you know, as soon as people listen to the music, they know, yeah, this kind of composition only... Uh, uh, you know, fingers, you uh, can just count uh, using fingers. Yeah, in, no, the in fact, I must say that uh, with all humbleness, that this is what people are feeling about your music also, that there oh, is an I'm, identity. I'm really humbled. Yeah. I'm really humbled. They are telling me In that fact, I'm tumbled. <laughs> <laughs> they are telling me that there is an identity in Sridhar music, sir. I mean, not only people, not only my students, people, general public who is hearing Mughilu, they say that, oh, we feel a sound, a sonic concept. And also, because uh, one thing was also there, it was mastered in a new format, in a case-sphere oh, format, nice. and it did make the users 
believe that yeah it's coming it's object so this was an object based mastering uh, technology which i patented and i'm fortunate enough that we call up it on that uh, amazing, technology amazing. and coming to speaking of uh, technology before we part of i would like a small word about your production see i i'm very amazed first of all that you being such a good artist and you being such a good violinist are also being able to produce so well what is what is what do you think does this does to a musician like the ability to produce what does it do what did it do to you what do, what what liberty did you feel uh, i mean you know in in your entire concept of music when you started producing can you share it with the audience absolutely absolutely so uh, just to i'll take a step back on that question mm. uh, when you said the production right uh, being from the uh, coding background yes software background yes. and the technology that uh, had served for uh, 28 years yeah uh, learning any new tool or gadget is not a problem for me i am yes. an intuitive learner that yes. way yes. right and um, in fact i uh, initially started doing it from uh, kekok sonar days Oh yeah, uh, the yeah. one which was there in Windows Cake Windows, Box. Windows, yes. Cake Box. So now, in fact, you will be surprised to see that during DOS days, yeah, uh, in Windows, yeah, I used the C program to generate sounds and made music wow. out of that. Wow! Yeah, that, that is... has been a passion for me. So you used to synthesize music. I you? used to synthesize music, and I was thinking of writing a software like if you just press C, C note comes out. Yeah. Wow. That kind of thing and duration and other things you could wow. do and stuff like that. but uh, i am a single man so by the time i figured out time uh, there were few a plethora of uh, software yes. and tools yes. in the market and i started uh, you know learning those exploring those exploring those, right? those rather and but i was really flabbergasted when uh, people started using pro tools left right center mm-hmm. i bought purchased one Yeah, so, as you yes, know, yes. And Your then first... I migrated for good to logic. logic. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> I am the I am the. You are the guru yes. for that. <laughs> Not the guru. I am the main uh, culprit I'm for you. Influencer. Yeah, influencer. <laughs> yeah. So logic and all these programs do they really help you as a musician? So you would advise all people who are learning, say, tabla, guitars, or anything, to also go into music production, right? Absolutely, Learn music absolutely. production. Absolutely. See, um, that's. a uh, very good question in fact because we actually confine ourselves mm. uh, in the within the four walls of whatever boundary that uh, we draw out of our own imagination but things are uh, much much uh, above what uh, uh, what we can really comprehend yes right so we have to explore outside we have to have the experience to uh, to produce and sing in front of the mic and singing different genres yes. and you know explore uh, the capabilities no and you know this is exactly what my goal has been as a teacher for about now more than a decade and having my own institute in brigade road that is what i do so when i see you as a as an as a complete artist this is what i want to put across to youngsters also so great shida thanks for being here it was a pleasure, pleasure. and uh, let's keep this uh, let's keep it for another interview another song sure. so by the way let me inform the users also that shida is working on another very good song for us and uh, we're going to come out with it soon sure. we'll sure. keep you all posted and also some live events happening yes uh, we are also planning webinars where shida will hold some concerts whether we are he will also expose people about how he plays the violin and what is his concepts behind production Absolutely. so thanks my brother thank you thank you okay thank take you. care bye thank bye you. pleasure